Welcome back to Border Adventures. We've played a month with Feyenoord already. We thought we'd test drive them before we showed you them in action. And there's good news. We're a month in and we haven't been sacked yet. We haven't even been called into the boardroom. And given our recent troubles, I think that's a little bit of an achievement. We're still in European competition, Europa League 2. We managed to beat CSKA Sofia and this evening we're taking on Lech Poznan in the quarterfinals. So let's show you how we've been getting on and then we'll introduce you to the new players before we get out there and take on Lech Poznan. So we took over just after the caretaker boss had secured a pretty decent 2-2 draw with PSV. Since then we've won every game. The defence, a little bit leaky, but we have done pretty well. We've beat Pex Voller. 4-1 at home and we have got a couple of pretty decent strikers in our squad including Frank Bremer who really I think is a winger but he has been very very good as a poacher and as a backup for him we've also had Abe van der Moylen coming in and scoring some goals as well so both of them are pretty good players and both did well against Voller. We then went into Europe we went out to Bulgaria and won 2-0 before coming back and playing RZ, who were just above us in the league. And we managed to beat them 2-1. This guy, Frank Bremer, getting another couple of goals. We then pretty routinely beat Sofia at home 6-0, playing our first choice team, really, because this squad is not big and it's not got quality throughout. So we really are a little bit restricted in who we can pick. We then beat Emmen in the Eredivisie, 2-0. Van der Moylen coming off the bench and scoring again. Before our most recent game, we made hard work of it at times, but we beat Willem Tway 3-1. And Van der Moylen again coming off the bench and scoring a goal. So expect to see him coming on at some point today. Now, we're playing our trusted formation. I say trusted. Not sure we trust any formation, but we've gone with it to try and steady the ship. It's worked pretty well so far. I don't know whether we might twist and change things during the summer, but this is what we're going with for now. It really is a team of two different classes. We have got some absolute world beaters. I'm going to show you one player that plays for us that I think is better than any other player we've had in his position during this entire series. And then we've got some huge gaps in the squad as well, where Final don't even seem to have recruited players to play in that position. And we've had to draft in people from the under 19. So let's take you through them, starting with Abdullahi Raki, who is, quite frankly, incredible. Described as a commanding goalkeeper. He has got green attributes in all the areas that you might like. He's superb, but there's a problem. And the problem is that he's only got two years left on his contract. He will not sign a new one. He's not interested in the slightest. And he's also wanted by some incredibly big clubs around Europe. Chelsea, Man City, the big two in Spain, Sevilla as well. I don't think we're going to be able to hold on to him because he has got a minimum release fee of £71 million and I'm fully expecting in the summer people to test his resolve and try and tempt him away for a move. But if this is the kind of thing that comes through the Feyenoord Youth Academy, then we are excited. We've had the latest youth intake. There was nothing like that in it, but maybe if we train them up a little bit, we might do okay. Let's move into the defence. It's not brilliant in the defence. Let's show you the one shining light. Ard Schmidt, who we'd been tracking back when we were at Stuttgart. And we were managing Stuttgart 20 minutes ago. We were tracking him. We decided maybe he wasn't quite quick enough to take to the Bundesliga. But he's been good so far. But like all of our best players, clubs like Inter are interested in him. And then the rest of the back four, not great. There were no right backs for us to pick, really. So we've called up a 17-year-old, Morris Bill, who's described as promising, at least, and has got a decent personality, and is training on pretty well. So 
You never know, we might stick with this young man for next season. We've also got little Yannick, or Timmy, as the boys know him as, Mallet. A French centre-half. He's not glorious, I don't think, although his marking and positioning are pretty good. Aggression and bravery, not so good. I don't really enjoy a cowardly centre-half, but well, we don't really have a lot of depth to us. We've got a left-back, Brian Shouten, 21 years old. Reasonable, he's been injured up until the last game when we played Willem Tway. So, he's not quite fit, but we're going to start with him today. Then we've got another good player. We like this boy, Wesley Verhuil. A wonder kid, a deep-lying playmaker that likes playing in that six position. Passing good, technique good, teamwork and work rate not so shabby either. Balance and first touch, only 20 years old. All right, we've offered him a new deal to try and get him to commit for a bit longer. Then next to him, we are lacking another defensive midfielder. We're going with what a right back, a centre half, a German one, Tisch Schindelmeiser. Don't think you could be more German than being called T. Schindelmeiser. He's not the best. It's a position we will probably look to in the summer, but gets a little bit better going forward. Let's show you on the wings. We've got an Englishman, Matt McMillan, over on the left-hand side, right-footed, cutting in. He's all right, isn't he? Gets better as well, right-hand side. Stephen Dora. He is a Thai international of Dutch origin. Good dribbler, incredibly quick technique. Good personality as well. Pretty good option. And then it's not too bad going forward in the 10 position. Wout van der Heiden. Six foot five. He's an absolute monster in there. Great physicals. Vision, technique, off the ball, decision making. All looking pretty lovely. And then up front, we've got the man we've already shown you, Frankie Bremer. Played pretty well, scored six goals for us so far. And then coming off the bench, we've also got our mate. Here he is, Abe van der Moylen. So we've got him to bring in as well. In fact, because this is European competition, we actually do just need to make sure that van der Moylen's on the bench. Because in the Eredivisie, you name 11 substitutes. Way too many for my liking. In Europe, I think you only get seven. So we'll make sure that van der Moylen is one of them. And we are going to get out there to take on Lech Poznan. Back to Poland for us, where it all started. Wouldn't it have been great if we could have played Shrubbery in Europe? I don't think they're even in a playable league anymore. What are we going to say to the boys passionately? Show me what you can do to keep the run going. And let's get out there. We're away from home, but in our home strip, which is a blessing. After just six games in charge of Feyenoord, I have already worked out that they have an absolutely atrocious away strip with the most garishly coloured socks you've seen. But we're not in it today. But we are defending and we are a goal down. And Philip Lesniak has put Lech into the lead and that is not part of the plan. The media have been speculating about what a close tie this is. So Lech clearly have some players. And they clearly have some players that can come up for corners and score goals because that is not a good start. We're into the highlights again and we've got some work to do. Here's little Smitty Vermoylen. He is a good playmaker. We like him. McMillan's not bad over there. Neither of our wingers are the biggest, but they're both pretty rapid. Not a great cross from the boy, though, is it? He's giving it straight to their goalie, and they are playing out from the back. And we've got a little bit of work on here. Need to close them down. What can we do? Can we win the ball? It's all a little bit comfortable for the opponent so far, isn't it? Look at that big man, though. He is an absolute colossus in there at 10. We've got to stop this ball coming in, though. And I don't think we have... And we are 2-0 down, Hubert Tursky. Well, this is not the start we wanted. It's a two-legged tie, so we're not panicking. I think we're already in a situation where we need an away goal. Otherwise, we are very much up against it in the second leg. Played pretty well so far. 
Oh, it's not all been easy games. RZ have got a pretty good squad. We managed to beat them. But Lech Poznan are making us look pretty silly today. I think we can guess the direction that the team talk is going in. Can we get one back before the break? We've got some marauding fullbacks to help out here, but we're not using them. Ah, oh, that is another really poor cross. And he's going to struggle to come back out for the second half, Macmillan, I think. And 3-0 would be terrible. Oh, goodness me, thank you. Thank goodness we have got Rocky in goal. Highlight time again. And I'm really not confident that it'll be for us given the first half we've had. What are we up to here? We're going wide again. Macmillan, this is your last chance, I think, because you've had a pretty terrible first half. You've given it away. But Frank Bremer has got one back for us. Whew. Well, thank goodness, because I thought... We were about to get blown away by Lech Poznan and nobody wants that in a first leg. We're not having an assist for that. He got tackled. And I think that young man's race is run. Let's get into the halftime team talk. That is not going to be enough to save you from an absolute grilling. And we're going to get into the tactics. And you are going to go out there. I know you don't like it. And you are coming off for of van der Moelen. And we are going to... Get out for the second half. Immediately demand more. Stay on attacking. And see what we can do in the second half. And there is Bremer. And he has run through. Long range shooting. Maybe not his thing. Better in the box. 40,000 Lech have got him for this game as well. Ooh. Big club by Polish standards I think. Here we go again. Tentatively this looks like our highlight. And there is a Van der Moylen. Oh, good half-time substitution. He comes on, scores every game, which makes you think, is it about time that he was starting? And maybe Bremer was out on the wing? Come on. That wouldn't fit in with the formation that I want to play now, would it? Maybe next season. I'm toying with a 4-3-3. With a 6. Two advanced wingers. Van der Moylen up front. I say Van der Moylen up front, by the way, as we pause the game. He's another one whose contract is up in two years. And look, Man United, Monaco, Leon, Sevilla. He's another one that we might struggle to hang on to. So we'll be tentative when making plans that involve Van der Moylen, I think. A little bit worried about the off-season. I think we might be losing some of our stars. And beneath them, there is not a lot in this squad. So... A little bit of work might need to be done. Here's Bremer. He's got the ball across. And now we are 3-2 up. And our Thai international, Stephen Dora, the explorer, has managed to put us 3-2 in the lead. Vamanos. Here we go. Bremer. Looks all right over there on the left, doesn't he? Good ball over. Finds his opposite winger. Gets his backpack off. Follies it in. Good. Cool. Highlights again. 4-2 would be great. Four away goals. Maybe we don't even need to bring you the second leg then. 4-3. Not so pretty. Not seen a lot from our big number 10, have we? Van der Heiden. Here he comes. Six foot five as a number 10. Gets it through to Van der Moelen. That's more of a pass back than a strike. I think he was offside anyway. Are we thinking about dropping this down to positive again? Or do we stick with it? Van der Moyle, God, he looks electric, doesn't he? He's got the big man in the box as well. Can he get it over to him? Here he is. He's nodded it. Bremer has picked up his second of the game. Hmm. Good to see the big man in the box, wasn't it? He's nodded one on there and selfishly. Van der Moylen has looked good, hasn't he? Raids forward, little flicked header. There is the little guy coming in at the far post. Now we're looking good. Let's tentatively go back to positive. Fifth goal would be a dream. 4-2 will settle for. Four away goals. Job well done. Let's bring on one more substitute. 
we are going to bring on Iron Balk for Schindelmeiser. And that should get us through to the full-time whistle in terms of the team. There isn't a lot more to bring on, to be honest. Basically all 17-year-olds on the bench. Don't know how Feyenoord have let the squad get so thin, but they have. And this looks like a proper highlight. What are we doing? Here's our left back. Slings it in. 4-3 would be a bit more nervous. But, oh, Van der Moylen is in. And this looks like it could be a proper highlight as well. It's the second half we've done all right, haven't we? Second half's been okay. Football's been pretty good as well. Oh, but here we go again. Have they gone three up front without me noticing? Need to get a winner in. Oh, Smitty. Goes to ground on a yellow card. That's what you like to see. And I think that maybe is the whistle. Come on, we're done now, aren't we? We've gone over the allotted time. Don't let them get a late one. Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in. Oh, we're away. We're away. And now we're flying back home. Two for Bremer, one for Van der Moylen. The two danger men we showed you both performed. Little Dora the Explorer as well. And we gave them a hard time at halftime, didn't we? So let's say, what a comeback. We're still trying to, you know, get on the good side of the hierarchy. And so we have won every game so far since we took over at Feyenoord. And given the rough ride we had at Lille, well, I don't think that's too bad a result. Before we go, let's just show you the table. Because when we took over, we were down in 7th position, 8th position. We've climbed to 5th. We've got 4 league games to go. We're trying to chase down Hare and Vane. I think the top 2 automatically qualify for the Champions League. And below that, there's some kind of weird playoff that we don't really understand for European places. But I think we're in with a hunt of that. So... We are going to go away. We're going to get some more fixtures done. I think we'll probably play through that uh, second leg against Lech and potentially maybe come back for a European semi-final as we continue our border adventures.